The Mortal Kombat name has endured as an unassailable part of fighting game history, but the games haven't exactly been bulletproof these last few years. So comes the hope of a new Mortal Kombat game, somehow better than the rest, a return to basics under the banner of a full-fledged reboot. With a clear intent to help the series back on its feet, Mortal Kombat marches into the present with a title significant in its simplicity. Can it redeem and reinvigorate the series? <laughs> Lord Raiden, what is wrong? With Earthrealm's mightiest warriors decimated at the hands of Shao Kahn, the Thunder God Raiden sends a foreboding vision of the future in a bid to set things right in the past. So sits the tone for Mortal Kombat's story mode, an elaborate retelling of the series' core mythology through fights and cutscenes set to the events of the first three games. That old geezer's the final challenge? They might as well give me the belt right now. While it'll no doubt draw its fair share of smirks, the game's narrative is delivered with such moxie that it's hard to resist. You'll definitely come away impressed by the earnest effort put into spinning the tail, if not by its actual content. Cutscenes braid smoothly into the mode's rapid succession of fights, gilded by a few clever details and aha moments that fans should get a kick out of. It's campy, it's crazy, and more than a little bit silly, but it's certainly Mortal Kombat at its finest. The tournament begins. Spreading itself on a return to a very classic feel, Mortal Kombat presents a thoughtfully constructed package replete with the elements fans love best. You'll find staples like fatalities, test your might, and traditional 2D fighting faithfully reconstituted among the game's multitude of modes. A somewhat modest collection when compared to the series' kart racing, chess playing excesses of the past. This still amounts to quite a massive game in the end. The aforementioned story mode makes up a substantial slice of the experience, delivering a lengthy multi-hour epic that also serves as a reintroduction to the series' cast of fighters. At 26 characters strong, and more if you count the PS3-exclusive Kratos and DLC fighters down the road, the roster stands tall and varied with virtually every brawler from the original MK trilogy. Veterans jumping in will immediately connect with timeless techniques like Scorpion's Harpoon, but the game makes it clear that there's more ground to cover if you wish to go past what's familiar. This is a sharper and smarter Mortal Kombat throughout, tempered by tournament player feedback and actualized by a very precise style of play. Flashy combos and punishing reposts are a product of deliberate engineering and rarely executed by accident. The game's tutorials are handily equipped to show you the basics, even instructing you on fatalities in a separate feature. But the large majority of your combo crafting will go down in self-study and training mode. When it comes time to switch test targets for live ones, Ladder Play offers a nostalgic arcade-style gauntlet of opponents to cut through, either solo or in pairs, through the game's new tag team format. For the biggest test of your abilities, Challenge Tower provides an enormous compilation of minigames and specialized fights, totaling 300 in all. With fun-filled challenges ranging from bouts with interesting handicaps to a number of zany non-combat games, the mode is an absolute delight of a time sink, sure to be a primary destination for those looking to wring the most out of the single-player experience. No two challenges are quite the same, and there's plenty of incentive tied to your efforts. Points earned here and in other offline modes can be spent in the nebulous expanses of the crypt, where you'll pony up for rewards like concept art, alternate costumes, codes, and even hidden fatalities. Mortal Kombat's online experience holds up just as strongly, provided you've bought the game new or paid your way in via the Combat Pass. With all manner of settings accommodating ranked player and group play, the rock-solid feature set hews close to something you'd see in a recent Capcom fighter. One notable exception is King of the Hill, the game's take on group lobbies, which puts active players at the mercy of MST3K-style audience interaction. The live feedback, genuine or not, is an enjoyable twist that keeps bench sitters engaged and participants amused. And in true Mortal Kombat fashion, the mode even has some secret codes for unique audience reactions. Mortal Kombat's efforts amount to a game as much about invention as preservation, paving bold new spaces for the series to grow, all while maintaining the tenets that make it great. Its breadth is simply staggering. The future is bright indeed for this grim and dark fighter, so long as it doesn't fancy adding in backgammon anytime soon. The leaner, meaner MK of today opts for a classic 2D template, steeled by a mandate for tournament-worthy balance in play. As a result, it eschews all the superfluous elements that had creeped into the series over the years. While it's too early, perhaps, to make bets on tournament results, it's evident that the game system is reaching for a level of definition that previously wasn't quite there. Mortal Kombat is much more serious about its fighting as a result, and it's all the better for it. Four primary attack buttons paired with one designated for blocking remain the cinder blocks of the series' well-established formula. Combos no longer blossom from easily performed sequences, but rather from carefully constructed juggles that hinge heavily upon timing and precision. 
A weightier, more deliberate pace leaves little slack for stray inputs, but in place of ease comes opportunities for creativity with a pliable system that rewards imagination with excellent results. Past the addition of established fighting concepts like links, ground bounces, and mix-ups comes a few new mechanics of the game's own design. Enhanced moves and DAO abilities with added properties like extra hits or range, while breakers provide a doorstep to an opponent's attacks mid-combo. They both run off a new energy bar found at the bottom of the screen. Forgoing both techniques for a full bar assault comes up with a grisly new X-ray move. Call it Mortal Kombat's R-rated answer to the PG-rated Ultra Combo, for it's used much in the same way. Banking your bar on one of these bad boys may just be worth it, as the hugely damaging and hideously painful results may be all it takes to reverse the outcome of a match. Draped in polished finery like a triumphant homecoming outfit, Mortal Kombat returns as a vivid vision of brutality dressed in red. Gore is back as a centerpiece of the experience, culminating in the wince-inducing x-ray moves and the grand return of the fatality, but it's also clear that the game aspires to be more than just a series of obscene displays of death. Mortal Kombat's reimagined world gleams with a reverence to the classic arcade games, recreating every single stage into stunning 3D backdrops with moving and sometimes interactive elements. Likewise, the characters shine with similar luster, exhibiting some fine details in animation and some particularly sharp sound design. Depending on your love of the extreme 90s, you may find some of the more classic looks in the game a bit tough on the eyes, but there's little doubt that the overall production values are resoundingly inspired throughout. Darkly decadent as one of its sadistic X-ray moves, the new and improved Mortal Kombat emerges as an impressively realized reboot that elevates the series to a new plateau of excellence. If your interest in Mortal Kombat has remained in stasis until now, unfreeze your expectations and take a dip in the dark side. You will find that ripping someone's head off is a lot more fun than you originally remembered. Fatality.